Hi, in this video, we're going to begin building the rankings page. And as we begin, let's go over to the business requirements document first. And as you can see, the rankings page has two visualizations, a tree map and a line and cluster column chart. OK, and again, you can agree you know, this is a potential solution of colors and fonts and whatnot. You can use anything you wish to use. Um, and then the next page has your design notes. OK, so let's go back to our Power BI cloud app, Power BI service app, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go ahead and open up our application. And as you can see, I have a default. I have the home page here, I have the rankings page here. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see it's blank. We haven't added visualizations yet. Let's click edit and let's start off with the tree map. So I'm going to go over here under visualizations to build a visualization on these icons. I'm going to scroll down to the tree map icon. Click here. And make it larger. Okay, great. Now, so we need a couple of variables for the tree map. So let's do that. So we're going to do here our category here. Um, and we're going to use weekly rank for our, cate for our category this time, okay? And this time here, we're going to measure what? We want to measure the hours viewed, okay? So notice what it does. It breaks out the rank by hour, by the sum of weekly hours viewed. Okay, now keep in mind one thing. We have 10 rankings, one through 10. So notice the boxes are one through 10. Okay, and now let's make it look professional. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and we're going to click on the uh, format your visual to make it look professional. We will put keep the legend off, we'll keep the data labels, we'll turn on. So it shows us the data labels. So in the upper left corner showing the rank and the lower right corner showing us the weekly hours viewed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on data labels. We'll get this a little bit more of a professional look and feel. Same font, Tribujant. Make that a little larger for our viewers. Keep it white and we'll do the display units in billions with two decimal places. Okay, great. All right, category labels is on. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm going to change the font to percent and we'll make it a little larger of a font because it's hard to read. There we go. And we can even make it bold if we wish. Again, you can go with any kind of colors you want and whatnot. So it's showing our, our category levels here. Obviously, the bigger the box, the more value it has okay so and when we do the filtering and using the application we'll show exactly how this works okay so all right a couple more things let's change so first of all let's get this title aligned with rankings weekly hours viewed so we'll go to general title we'll go ranking ranking weekly hours viewed and again, we'll give it a same font. And we'll keep it to blue like the other titles. Okay, great. So now, you know, if I want to keep a, a kind of a consistent color, I'm going to go to visual here and click on colors. And that's what it's doing. It's assigning a specific color to each of my categories in this case each of my ranks it's in this case one through ten but what if i want to want to do that what if i want to do like a range of colors okay so i'm going to click on advanced controls the fx and we're going to program this okay so we're going to go with the low value okay so that means the number one what color will the number one get okay and what we'll do is we'll go back here and we'll use this color green and again you could choose any color you want i'm going to go with green and red so i'm going to choose green for this side of the equation all right that's the lower value here and then the max the highest value will make a we'll go with red so it's going to go from green to red and think about it the lower the number is you know like a ranking one will be in green whereas a ranking number 10 would be in red okay again you could choose any colors you want i figured i'd choose those two i'm gonna click okay 
and there we have it. So as you can see, one's like the one's one's the red, and as it gets a little darker, it starts shifting over. As the values get higher, you know, like six is kind of between the green and the red. Seven's getting more of the solid red, and you get up to ten, and you're the red. it's the solid red. Okay, so that's what's called a tree map. Sometimes this visualization is also referenced to is a heat map, kind of the same thing, tree map, heat map. So in other um, business analytics applications, it's called a heat map. So again, we're going to show how this specific visualization works with our data um, when we go through that later in a later video. But let's keep this as is for now. Go ahead and save our work. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.